What made the weird kid at your school weird? The vine where a kid goes I have the power of God and anime on my side and screams like a banshee went to my middle school. He was maybe 4 grades underneath me but his weirdness turned him into one of the most popular kids in his grade. My town has the F your chicken strips fine, DD literally wearing my school sweatshirt in the vine, I think he graduated last year. Kid smelled like he bathed in cat pee every day. Hissed at anyone who came near him. Used to run through the hallways from class to class. Threaded to kill me in a computer lab because I used Internet Explorer instead of Firefox. Had one girl in my year who had a weird obsession with our physics teacher. Then in a lesson learning about spinning forces she asked if she could show a cool video to the class, he said yes. The video was of her spinning on a pole in her underwear. When he sent her out she was yelling the whole way, why, are you saying that pole dancing is sexual? Cause that's sexist. She wore a butt skimming skirts with fishnet tights and corsets on non-uniform day as well. Always got sent straight home. They ended up expelling her when we were about 17. She was a furry who tried recruiting people into her newly founded furry religion where the type of furry you were spiritually was based on your birthday like some fucking astrology BS. She also had a boyfriend who was into the whole furry thing but in a really weird sexual way cause they'd make out on the floor or in the lounge areas and bark slash growl at each other and it just made everything uncomfortable for everyone. This happened in my first year of college if that adds to the weirdness. Teachers had to make a public announcement banning people from making out and doing all that romantic stuff on campus BC of how bad it got. There was a kid in my school who was obsessed with Mario. He had Mario sweatshirts and notebooks, and a Mario backpack. Well someone figured out that if you told him Mario is dead head flip. Scream and cry fuck you no hess not every time. He got in trouble multiple times for attacking kids who said anything about Mario dying even if they were talking about in the context of Smash Brothers or something. This happened 8th 10th grade then I never saw him again. Kid always wore a zoot suit. Every day. Not that weird I guess. But back in high school, weird as fuck. Added some more details. These were not Salvation Army slash hand me downs quality. This kid wore nothing but high quality zoot suits, with a chain and nice shoes to match. Every once in a while he had a chrome tipped, black cane. He had bright colored ones, pinstriped ones, dark blue ones, and pure black ones. Didn't see him with the hat very often though. This was in 2005 sixths. I think he won best dressed in the yearbook. I don't have one to confirm though. Mustard boy. He'll never forget him. He would cover his lunch tray in mustard. Chicken nuggets? Mustard. Mexican pizza? Mustard. Breakfast for lunch? Mustard. It didn't matter what it was, he would drench it in mustard. He wasn't doing it to just to make a mess of his lunch tray, he always finished his mustard food. Mexican pizza was a hexagon shaped pizza with sausage and shredded taco seasoned cheese on top. It wasn't at all Mexican, but that's what it was called. He would jack off in the middle of class. He didn't actually pull it out but he would aggressively rub the side of his pants and his face would get really red while staring at the girls in the class. Everybody noticed but a word was never spoken about it. I knew a kid that would do that during math class while reading a book about kayaking. It was really distracting. He was on a hair trigger, would snap and threaten people. Suspended multiple times. Two memorable incidents were when we freaked out at an art teacher, went to his locker and came back with a bullwhip. He made that thing snap and sent everyone running, she barricaded herself in the supply room. Another time someone made the mistake of teasing him about something and everyone laughed, and he pulled a knife and screamed who wants to the the first to die. He was expelled and I'm not sure what became of him. I had a girl hiss at me in 5th grade. Hadn't seen her in about 16 years. Recently went to a party she was attending, she asked if I remembered her and said boy howdy. She hissed again. I always knew she was weird. I had a few. One was obsessed with all Asian culture kind of random since we lived in a very rural community in Canada with little connection to the outside world, let alone to Asia and would lose her mind if anyone said anything remotely negative about it. It started out as mainly just a fixation on Pokemon, anime, and K-pop, but quickly branched out to all things Asian. She once hit me with a textbook because we were discussing M. Butterfly in class and I said that I didn't like it. This was at age 16. Another kid used to pick his nose until it bleed and then go home because he had a nosebleed. He would also eat the boogers. We were all surprisingly chill about that part of his personality, the thing we all hated most about this kid is that he would lie about the most random stuff. 
like he would deny that he got hit when playing dodgeball or caught when playing tag on the playground. One time my neighbor made me a little Inukshuk glued to a piece of driftwood and I brought it to school to show the class. This kid picked it up in front of everyone, immediately dropped and broke it, and then denied that it was him that broke it, even though we had all literally watched him. I had a locker above his and he always yelled something stupid. The most common phrase was I got balls in my face. He also somehow brought koala poop to the school. There was a possibility that it really wasn't koala poop, but it was small brown pellets in a small bag with a koala O. He whistled don't worry be happy. Always. Man just had a hell of an earworm for 4 years. He would have full conversations, arguments, and sometimes physical altercations with a brick column in the middle of the cafeteria. He ended up being the valedictorian for my graduating class, but his refusal to use a locker and carry all of his textbooks in his backpack led to severe back issues resulting in him wearing a backplate throughout high school. I believe he also has Asperger's so he wasn't social either. My weird kid stood up at an assembly and asked the vice principal if she knew what hentai was. In hindsight, she wasn't so weird. She just marched to the beat of her own drum. She was very overweight and had a lot of health issues, including more than one skin condition, so people saw her as gross, and they avoided her. I can remember all the way back in first or second grade when we did dancing in gym class, no one wanted to be her partner because her hands were covered in scaly rashes. But she was smart and she had an odd sense of humor and despite how everyone treated her, she was confident in herself and never hid any part of her personality. She was always the first to speak up in class and she challenged other people's opinions so readily. But at the same time, she was constantly falling asleep in class, and she snored so loudly. I remember she sat behind me during our AP exam for American history and for the life of me I could not focus on my test because she was breathing so loud. She was incessantly bullied, to the point of being pity voted on to prom court. She had one real friend. And then a year after we graduated, she died completely unexpectedly. I remember waking up to go to work one morning and my best friend had texted me that she was dead, and I was absolutely shocked. Apparently, she had been out to dinner with her aunt, and on her way back to the table from the bathroom, she collapsed and they couldn't resuscitate her. They did an autopsy and couldn't confirm a cause of death. Her mother died about a week after she did and they had a joint funeral. Probably the saddest funeral I've been to. The worst part about her death was that I lived in a really small town so it's all anyone was talking about for weeks. Her biggest bullies were some of the loudest voices. Some people from my graduating class held a memorial service for her where they sent off paper lanterns, but I couldn't get myself to go because it was full of all the people who made high school miserable for her. I couldn't bear to listen to them talk about how great she was, how beautiful she was, when they never held those sentiments when she was alive. His dad started a house fire, insurance scam, and died in the fire, this was around 6th grade. I that messed him up a bit. The kid would tap his feet and hands uncontrollably and he talked about shooting people. He was caught eating berries off of a tree branch in a compost trash can in 5th grade. He'd act feral around everyone else but if you got to know the kid he was actually pretty down to earth and cool. In middle school around 6th grade I tried getting to know him better and found out he might have had some kind of multiple personality disorder, and was grateful for someone who didn't judge him that much I'd try my best to not get him to do stupid shit. He was later expelled for what everyone said was biting a teacher. I saw him once during high school and he one got really fucking hot too seemed way chilled out. When I asked about why he left he said he wasn't allowed to talk about it but was getting help so that's always good Gabe if you're out there I hope you're doing well. He wrote his crush's name on the wall in the bathroom, with his own shit. They caught him brown handed. Also would freak out if someone said werewolf. He always carried around a briefcase, but never opened it. Sat on the briefcase during lunch, classes, etc. It was like the nuclear football, always in his hand or he was sitting on it. He carried it onto the stage during graduation, got his diploma, right as he was leaving the stage, he opened it up, and dumped a bunch of confetti on the principal. I guess it was the long con? No one questioned why he was carrying it on stage. He gave himself a swirly because nobody ever got one in the three years he was there forgot to mention, it was in the urinal. They thought they were an immortal vampire, and walked around talking and acting the part. His go-to excuse for not having homework finished was that he was traveling even though he was at every class, and he never paid attention to anything but his fidget spinner unless he was talking. The way he spoke, he knew everything there was about creative writing, yet his submissions consisted of plots ripped off directly from anime. 
This was in a college class. I don't think you understood him. When he said traveling he meant through time. He keeps going back to the past, writing great stories to submit for class, and before he returns to the present he trips over an uneven break and his original story flies out of his hand and is found by a Japanese man who turns it into an anime. Probably. There was a kid at my high school who never talked. It wasn't that he couldn't speak, or that he only spoke to his close friends, he just wouldn't speak to anyone. Teachers didn't call on him because they knew he didn't talk. When a substitute would come in and try to call on him there was always some kid who would have to explain Ricky doesn't talk. If you asked him a question he would just look at you. It was weird and some people would take offense to his silence. But eventually everyone realized that was just his thing and rolled with it. The only time he spoke was when we had to present individually in class. On those days people would get really excited if they had a class with him because hearing him talk was like seeing a unicorn. Well had one guy that was always talking big shit. Faking injuries bent my ankle so I can't practice slash liver is burning etc. Always drew pentagrams on shit, took Japanese so he could get a waifu, just all around a fucking creep with girls too. Well go arrested for CP here last month, I wasn't surprised.